from the tarmac of the new Argyle International Airport where Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves, Mrs. Gonsalves and other officials have just landed uh, safely here at the Argyle International Airport. Prime Minister, how is the flight? Very, very good. As you notice, it landed like a baby. It's, it's as easy, easy does it. And I was very happy that um, the IKO, International Civil Aviation Organization Regional Director, was on. And so to Mr. MacPhail, who heads ECA, Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority, so that they see again for themselves, and of course, the chairman of the board of directors of LIAT and the CEO of LIAT. It, it, it is a beautiful ride up from, from um, Annasville. It's a little nostalgia because it's the last, it's the last time we'll be coming from Annasville. I have my I have my boarding passes. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them as souvenirs. <laughs> it's, it's really it's really a wonderful um, journey. Well, Prime Minister, it was a very emotional day for you today. I'm very I'm cool. sure. Very emotional <laughs> day, and um, tomorrow also would be. This is this is Dr. Gene Holder, okay, who, is the, who is the chair of the board of directors of Liat. He can tell you, I mean, you, 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 you have heard me, he can tell you what the experience has been like. Uh, Dr. Holder, let me welcome you, of course, to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and to the Argyle International Airport. How was the flight over? Well, it was wonderful. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy that we are part of the, the history of this airport. We are the first to come in here and the last to leave there, the first to come tomorrow. So it's been one. And, I can join with those who say that this gentleman has accomplished a magnificent achievement in getting one of the most impressive airports, not only in the region, but elsewhere as well. So I have been watching him through the years, strive and struggle. We all wondered whether he would make it, <laughs> but he, he was always confident that he would make it. And he has made it. It really is an impressive airport. So, I mean, I join with the rest of the world in congratulating um, Dr. Gonzalez on this magnificent airport. It was a, such a pleasure to be on the first commercial flight here after the opening. Did you enjoy it? Certainly. And we have a be had a beautiful view. I have very fond memories of it, Joshua. I've been there for many, many years, so I'm going to miss it. Right. No matter what, it, it, it had its challenges but I'm still going to miss it. But I am extremely happy that Argyle is finally open because this is brand new, it's modern, it's going to meet our needs much better than E.T. Joshua did. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to see leadership being emboldened into aviation for the benefit of the country and the socioeconomic benefits that aviation brings. Because what this is doing is opening up a whole new possibility for the country. When you think about the amount of socioeconomic benefits in, in uh, tourism and other things. Think about now larger aircraft being able to come in a safe and secure environment and the global community feeling the confidence that St. Vincent can go ahead and accept in a safe, secure and environmentally sound manner all the passengers that can come in. Think about the benefit to the communities you know, and some people might even say, why should I care what, what the Prime Minister has done with this? Why, I'm never going to get in a large airplane. But if you think about when a tourist get off that airplane and they get on a taxi, they just gave a job to that taxi driver. They just gave a job to the person that pumps the gas. The farmer who thinks I'll never get on that plane but is growing their bananas, their plantains and all these things, those are getting bought to be served here for the tourists. So when you think about the socioeconomic benefits that you have just opened up in your country that this aviation brings, I, I applaud you, I applaud your leadership, and I applaud your commitment. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. This is a historic occasion for us, the last flight over to the new international airport. And we're really very happy to be here. Uh, of course, tomorrow we'll participate in the official opening ceremony 
Well, we are looking forward to it because the facilities here will definitely be more conducive to LIAT's operations and we are looking forward to continued activity and service to St. Vincent. I would like to say on behalf of LIAT and the rest of the team, congratulations on your milestone accomplishment. And uh, we know we look forward to flying into Argyle and uh, we wish you all the success. We just landed the Trilander, which I, I flew in with the Trilander this morning. We just repositioned it here because tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock, we're going to be here preparing for the arrival of the Dynamic 767 that is on its way to Guyana. And we are dropping some of the passengers here and then going on to Guyana. But this is a historic moment. I mean, for me, I've been an aviator for 40 years. And this is something we dream about in Guyana, to have a run, an airport that looks like this. Um, with the, the, this runway is 9,000 feet. There's a beautiful airport. And I am so pleased to be part and honored to be part of this. So tomorrow we're going to be landing the 767. Um, and then um, mid-morning we are bringing um, a 737 from Cuba. And the intention is that we intend to come on a regular base. So Roraima is going to set up a company here in St. Vincent. And um, we are going to really give meaning to CARICOM integration. We are going to be part of this. We are very excited about what's happening in St. Vincent. Well, I could remember you said to the Prime Minister that you're going to give him the perfect Valentine gift because you're landing that red and white plane. Is that still the case? That, that 767 is going to be on the ground here tomorrow morning at 7.30. And uh, I will remind the Prime Minister that it was his birth, it was what is uh, Valentine's gift. Yes, yes, yes. One, two, three. Touchdown. There you have it, folks. Dynamic Airways 767 landing at the Argyle International Airport, the first international flight coming all the way from JFK International Airport in New York.